Hello and uh, welcome to the fifth exercise from my uh, from my book, Exercises and Wisdom for Contemporary Pop Singers. And uh, this exercise uh, is broken into three parts. They're all semi-occluded vocal tract exercises. And uh, so they're brilliant at showing you how your breath should work and how much breath you need. Uh, and how much and where your support should be. So uh, the first one is called Waters and Straw. And um, so what it is, is I have this tall glass of water and I've only filled it about halfway. And then I have a, a metal straw. And what you want to do is make sound through the straw. And bury the straw in fairly deep in the water. You can do this with a like a plastic cup with a lid and a straw. Uh, and you want the straw to be fairly narrow, not, not a big wide open straw, but a, a narrow straw. And uh, so the, um, the three rules are make it easy, don't make it loud, and don't push air. So with this exercise, keep the bubbles so that the bubbles are there constantly. They're never going to stop. You want it to look like pasta boiling. And you can try like a little five note scale like that. So that's the straw and water, and uh, keep the airflow steady. That is the that is the important thing. The next exercise I call puffy cheeks. And you want like a little tiny bit of air coming between your lips. And think about what is happening in your torso as you do this. I feel it engage in a very specific sort of way. And that is really important for singing. Good. Now the third exercise, this one's great for belters and for pop. The, the puffy cheeks is great for opera singers and more classical or sweet sounds. But puff, uh, this last one is called waves or sound waves in a cave. So you're gonna create a cave. So what you wanna do is um, make a little C like that and then cover up the C like this so you've created a cave you don't want to do like like this you really want to create a nice opening hole there and then with on an ah vowel um, make sound into that cave and this one's really good as you go up to see how little air you need and we'll cover that later in the chapter on um, thin cover and mix. So here again, make the airflow steady. And find a balance between the loudness, so don't make it too loud, just make it comfortably loud, and make it just a nice amount of air, not too much air. Make it easy. Cool. Now, what you can do is pull your hand away on the top note. And what you want is not to make a big difference between the and since this is about your breath, 
try to feel what is happening in your torso, in your body, in your abs, with your belly, and what's happening maybe across your back and into those side ribs. Good? So that is our three um, semi-occluded vocal tract exercises and uh, pay attention to them and pay attention to what they teach you about your breath and about your breathing. Good. So uh, if you like these videos um, and you want to purchase the book that, the, that they're from and get a bigger, deeper explanation, click on the link below in the description. And uh, if you like this and press the subscribe button, other people will find these videos and, uh, and will share in this, in this knowledge. So great. Thank you.